Today we are unboxing Dell Power Edge T640. Let's open the box. The Power Edge T640 balances cost effective, in server expansion with powerful performance to provide a scalable business architecture. The versatile T640 allows you to address data heavy, diverse workloads including virtualization, databases, analytics, imaging applications, and SDS. The box contains front panel bezel which we can use to protect and cover the front panel. Two power cords. Installation media and some technical and compliance documentations. Power Edge T640 can be used as tower or rack consuming 5U rack space. Meet dynamic performance and capacity demands with flexible storage and I.O. options. Let's take the server out of the box. It's coming with a nice packaging enough to protect the server on shipping. This is the front panel for T640. We have up to a 3.5 inch SOS or SATA hard disk or SSD base. Some other variants contains up to 18 3.5 inch hard disk base or 32 2.5 inch hard disk base. On the back side we can see two 1100 watts hot swappable power supplies. A VGA port. A serial port. 4 USB 3.0 ports and 2 USB 2.0 ports. There are 2 1 gig ports available on board and AI track port is also available on the rear side. This server has 2 additional 10G ports added additionally. This particular system is coming with a Windows Server 2016 pre-installed as a virtual machine over a VMware ESXi running on a BOSS card. This is a 2.5 inch hard drive on a 3.5 inch caddy. This is the slot for the hard drive. We can use 2.5 inch hard drive but should be using a 3.5 inch caddy. We can open the server cover. There is a screw lock to open the server cover. We can see here the processors, chipsets, 10 gig cards, memory etc.
These are the connectors coming from the hard drive connectors. There are two fans to pull cool out the hot air outside. We can individually remove the fans easily like this. When opening the cover we can see two processors with heat sink. It supports up to two Intel Xeon scalable processors and up to 28 cores per processor. There are 24 DDR4 DIMM slots which supports RDIMMs or LR DIMMs with speeds up to 2666 megatransfers per second. Right down corner we can see the boss card on which an SSU running on board. Boss card that is boot optimized storage solution is a separate module having a RAID 1 configured M.2 or NVMe SSDs optimized for fast booting and easy manageability.